We're here at the 2018 Detroit Motor Show and behind me is the all new second generation Hyundai Veloster. Now, if you don't know much about the car, the most important thing to note is that it's got a strange door combination. It's got one door on the driver's side and two doors on the passenger side. Now that doesn't look like the case here because we are in a left-hand drive country, but when we go to Australia, when this car shows up in the second half of the year, you will actually notice that the doors will swap. So the first thing to notice is that it looks a little bit like the i30, from the front at least. If you look at the rear, it looks completely different. It looks quite nice. It has become a little bit more evolutionary than the previous car, which was a whole new revelation in its segment. Now this has got the cascading grille, the new lights, and of course, being the turbo model, it's got the nicer wheels. So this thing is powered by a 1.6 liter engine. It's got 150 kilowatts of power and 265 Newton meters of torque. There are two other cars here. Let's move along and I'll show you them too. So this one over here is actually the base model car. Now, if you ask me, I actually think, well, it looks a little bit better than the turbo. It's not as over the top and particularly these wheels, they look quite nice. Now this thing is powered by a two liter engine, four cylinder, but it's naturally aspirated. It'll do 110 kilowatts of power and 179 Newton meters of torque. It looks good. It's coming in with the turbo, but my favorite car, which may not actually come to Australia, is the Veloster N and that's over there. So this is it, the Veloster N, the absolute top of the range. It's got a two liter turbocharged engine with over 200 kilowatts and it'll do zero to 100 in around six seconds. So it's not gonna be ridiculously fast, but certainly up there with the best of the hot hatches. Now I do love this color scheme. It's from the WRC team that Hyundai is involved with. Come to the back, cause I wanna show you this enormous spoiler. I mean, look at this thing, this spoiler. It's uh, <laughs> it really works on this car and I do love the carbon highlight here, it really adds that extra touch. And I'm a big fan of these tail lights. But coming down here, if you do come down and have a look, this exhaust, and there is two of them, is enormous. I mean, I can just sort of fit my hand around it now. It definitely looks like something that came out of a modified shop. Now let's jump inside, because I do want to show you the interior, because that's definitely a bit of a surprise as well. If this was to come to Australia, it would sit above the high-end i30N. So we're thinking it'll be around the high 40s or possibly even in the low 50s. Now, at that price point, I'm not really sure if some of this cabin quality really fits. For example, there are just a lot of really hard plastics here and, and they feel kind of cheap. And I guess they wouldn't feel so cheap if you're paying $25,000 for a regular Veloster, which is where this comes from. However, in this car, which is almost double the price, I think, it doesn't really work. However, there are a lot of things in this cabin that I do like. For example, now check out the seatbelt. It's nicely color coded to the exterior of the car. I really like that, it's a nice touch. And also the stitching on all these seats is the same color. I really do like that. Plus the steering wheel, there's a lot of nice things going on here. I do love this big screen. It has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now, of course, it is only available in a six speed manual like the i30N. There is gonna be a seven speed dual clutch transmission coming at some point in the future. If you do have passengers, back seat, it's pretty nice. It looks small, but I think you could easily fit two people back there for a short trip. So. There you have it, the Veloster N. I really hope we get this car in Australia, but it's not looking likely.